Hello guys, welcome to NOS Tutorials. Today we are going to see how to create a single page application. We are half the way and this is our dashboard. So let's uh, visit our site. Open the link in the new tab. See guys, we have reached half the way of our uh, process and let's we have to do some basic settings for our website. So just click on customize. I will open it in the new tab. Actually, the thing is, like I have already said, in uh, WordPress.org, you have two basic settings. By default, it is uh, the home page settings are already set to the latest posts page settings. And if you want to display it as your WordPress site, you have to switch on to a static page website from the latest posts. If you want to keep posting your blogs and using WordPress for it so you can uh, click uh, let it be as a default so these are our home page settings click on the home page settings in our previous videos you have already seen that uh, we are using ocean WP theme with two plugins named Elementor and ocean extra so this is by default on your latest posts so let's click it on static page and the home page is the page home page which we have created okay so we have done some default uh, some settings using ocean extra we have removed the sidebar we have removed the title the title is not displayed as a home so okay let's click on publish okay it is published now let's get on to our website uh, hover over Eduno click uh, hover over menus I'll be opening it into a new tab this is our menu page and right now we have a home page as a custom link home as a custom link home page is different that we are displaying on our website and home as a custom lim link is different so let's uh, add a few custom links I'll be keeping its URL as a hashtag about the next I want as and the page the link will be named as about so click on add menu add to menu and in this way another link is created so i'll be creating two more links in brief okay guys as you can see i've added two more custom links services and contact us so okay menu settings we have already done in the customized settings and here the main settings is a main menu so let's get back on the customize under the customize tab let's get back this is your customize tab and you can see this is your site identity and this is your tagline you can change it right now it's not here displayed so this is my website okay I'll keep this as the same now top bar settings general click into general just uncheck this box enable top bar you can see this top bar getting vanish so okay click on publish it's published get back we have done top bar settings click on header so there are two header media uh, logo which is our website by default when you hover over it the color is blue and this is home you can add more okay so click on menu you can see for now I'll be adding in the menus click on the menus click on currently set menu I've added custom link if you not created the menu just create it I would like to adding items custom links okay oh we have already done here so we don't need to do it here so let's get back for now ready to the top bar settings header you can change your menu settings these menu settings here 
no if we can give effects i don't want any effect for now i don't want the search bar so let's get that again use logo you can change it you can set an image for your logo you can do as many as settings as you want this is the typography click on typography click on general these are general settings click on logo here you can see all the logos you can add letter spacing I would like to keep it up to 0.7 it's perfect and font family I would like to have pretty sans serif okay let's get back publish get back so for now we don't need any extra settings as our uh, customizing so let's close this tab this is menu this is our website page this is our dashboard so get on to dashboard click on all pages we have uh, for now only one page which is home page so click on edit with elementor okay okay you can see elementor window as in our previous video you might have seen we have uploaded uh, five to six or uh, four to five templates uh, which we will be using for today and we have added menus today and given them custom links you can see here custom link as uh, it's uh, the homes custom link is the URL for your website which is locally for now you can add domain name it later on for about is hash about for services it is hash services for contact it is hash contact us same way there is a a special ID called a section ID will be using it so for now let's uh, add templates okay so click on my templates I've already imported templates you can see in our previous videos now I'm I would be uploading v1 hero video headline click on yes okay click on insert click on yes it will be uploaded so this is your new template click on add again new template and be adding about us header this one let's just click on it click on yes so okay the next bar is added you can change the settings click on another template click on hero image about us we would be using at our as our service page basically you can say uh, it as a service custom link so this is our service custom link add the next which is contact page you can add as workers or I would for now need just a contact page so just click on yes okay so we have added four templates mainly just click on this section edit section okay got it you can see in the advanced settings there is a CSS ID tab you can enter your ID this is the top bar right now we don't have anything so just go on to this one this section for this section go on to advanced settings this is our about uh, this is our about us page okay sorry click on this section on advanced for this my CSS ID is about not hash about just about which we have given here in the menus you can see about this uh, here hashtag about the same way uh, section ID for about us advanced this will be using as services for now we'll be changing the layout this section changing it as services okay so the next section is contact section again the same way 
we are editing is click on this edit section click on advanced button click on CSS ID write down contact us is it the same let's check it out what is for the contact us yes so just contact it's not you clear it okay okay now update we have given section IDs for these columns okay for now we have updated it just refresh our website here refresh okay so you can see here the pages now let's see okay now we will be adding two more plugins so then let's get on to plugins add new click on add new okay cancel you have to save the menu click on save menu and okay saved it so click on plugins add new power over plugins and add new okay add new okay okay I'd be adding two plugins called my sticky menu and you can see this one click on install now it's getting installed. okay it is installed and click on activate button okay it has been activated now another is scroll to top okay so we've got it just here right here you can see WP scroll top just install now click on it okay click on activate it has been activated and it took me to its settings page so click on enable save changes it has chosen its default settings now in the settings click on my sticky menu okay for this you have to change this name this is not the same name so just go on your website right click on this tab uh, click on inspect after inspecting you can see the headers name is site header inner so just copy this name just copy this name is as site header inner just copy it and paste it over here and paste okay you can see it I have pasted it save changes click on save changes okay now we have done a single page website application just go on to the, our website just close this inspect reload it okay guys so you can see here well don't worry these links appear because we have added custom links using menus through here you can remember just I'll show you it again so we have already included uh, menus you can see and just don't worry in my in the previous time you have mostly you have seen just home page but it will adds later on the other links too so just see this is our sticky menu click on to scroll to tap stop button it scrolls to top click on about it goes down it again goes down okay so this is your single page application and this is the way you create your own single page application using wordpress.org thank you so much guys for watching this video please like share comment subscribe our channel and for more updates you can ask you in our comment section so just like Click on the bell icon and you'll get more videos, uh, more notifications. So for now, see you. Bye-bye.